video it's going to be a more of a test video we're going to be testing some water now I've always wanted to know um, the different types of water they advertise that it's alkaline and if it's really alkaline so guys let me move ahead and show you guys how I test this water the kit that I use I bought it on Amazon and I will leave the information for that down in the description box so let's get started so guys here I have my water pH regent liquid now this can test up to a hundred different types of water all you need is two to three drops in each you need about two teaspoons of water to test it so let's start testing our water so let's start with the Florida tap water and it's already blue now it's not a dark blue it's a light blue but it tells me that it is alkaline okay the next one is the Dasani and as you can see it has a yellow color which means that it's acidic and that's 5.0 the next is Aquafina The Aquafina is also the same color as the Dasani, which means it's acidic, which is a pH of 5.0. The next water is the Zephyr Hills, and we only use Zephyr Hills in our home. And the Zephyr Hills is blue, but it's a very light blue, if you can tell, compared to the Florida tap water. The Florida tap water is much more alkaline than the Zephyr Hills water. Next is the Kirkland. The Kirkland has a green hint to it, which is more of a neutral. So the next one is Just Water. And the Just Water is a little more bluer than the Kirkland water. But we're going to compare it against the Florida tap water. And the Florida tap water is still much more alkaline than any of these we've tested so far. The next water is the Go Getter. And this one is quite similar to the Kirkland, so it's more of a neutral. Smart water is next. And there's nothing smart about this water because you can see that it's yellow, which means it's, it's acidic. Next is life water. And the life water also has a slight yellow tinge to it, which means it's acidic. Next is Fiji. The Fiji water has a light blue color. Um, it's not as blue as the Just Water and the Zephyr Hills. They're much more bluer than the Fiji. And if I compare the Florida tap water to the Fiji water, the Florida tap water is much more alkaline than the Fiji water. Next is Voss, which, are, which is a very expensive water. And as you can see, that is acidic. Next is the GNC brand of water. And I would say that this one has a blue tinge to it, so we know that it's more of a neutral water. And then the public spring water. And that public spring water is acidic. acidic. So let's go on to round two to test the other sets of water that actually advertise APH. Okay, so the first one is the flow water. They claim that it has a pH of 8.1. And 8.1 means that it needs to be this color blue, a royal blue. It's not a royal blue. You guys can see how light this is. I would say it's more closer to a neutral. So the next one is core hydration, which advertises a pH of 7.4. And I would say that this 
it's not a hundred percent like alkaline it's more on the neutral side the flow water is actually much more bluer than the core so now let's do the body armor which advertises 8 plus pH and they're right on the money with that it's blue next is Icelandic and they're advertising a pH of 8.4 and they're also on the money they're also blue now I would say that the body armor is a little more bluer than the Icelandic next is the Essentia advertising a pH of 8.5 And guys, do you all see that? No, I wouldn't say that this is 8.5. I That is in the range of purple, which is at 9. This is a 9. This is heading into the color range of purple, which is even between 9 to 10. So this is a really, really good water to drink. The next water is pure and pristine, which advertises a pH of 7.8 to 8.2. I would say that that is more of a neutral. Um, I wouldn't say it's an 8. I would say it's between a 7 and an 8. Um, or between a 6 and a 7, actually. It's not totally, totally blue. So the next water is the Get Real Water which doesn't state a pH but it does say that what that this water is beyond alkalinity so let's see hell yes <laughs> that's it on the money so that has a very high pH okay so the next water is the alkaline 88 water from the from Himalayan minerals or it consists Himalayan minerals wow really blue so we know that this water is a very alkaline the next water advertises a ph of 10 oh this guys this one advertises a ph of 8.8 .8, hence the name alkaline 88 so the cure is 10 ph they advertise let's see and yes so yes guys that does have a p i would say it is a ph of 10 because it's much more purple than any of the others that i've tested so the next one is the whole foods brand 365 alkaline water advertising a ph of 9.5 yep it's alkaline just like the cure it's the same range so very alkaline next is the evermore which has an advertised alk ph of 8.8 to 9.1 so this is alkaline but not as alkaline as the 365 and i would say it's in between a 7 to 8 so maybe 7.5 so guys that's not it i actually forgot i had this one to test so i'm gonna open it you guys can see that it was sealed and i'm gonna put in a little bit into the cup and let's let's test this water and check the alkalinity of it it does not have it's not advertising a ph but it does say that it's an antioxidant water And I would say yes it's alkaline it's not the royal blue so I would rate it between a 7 and an 8 so maybe a 7.5 okay so I'm gonna go through the water one more time and you guys can see blue means alkaline so blue purple green is neutral and yellow is acidic so Florida tap water the sunny Aquafina Zephyr Hills Kirkland Joss water Volvic Smart Water, Life Water, Fiji Water, Voss, 
GNC Publix Spring Water by Flow Core Body Armor Icelandic Essentia, which is on the purple side, guys. So if you guys are looking for water, I highly recommend the Essentia water. Pure and Pristine Alkaline 88 Cure 365 Water by Whole Foods and Evermore Water. So guys, for these last set of waters that I tested, the Essentia Get Real Alkaline 88 Cure Alkaline Water, the 365 and the Evermore. Those are the brands that I would recommend for really good pH and also the Florida Tap Water. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the different types of pH level and which waters are actually the best to drink. So my next video would be on the different waters in Trinidad. So stay tuned for that video. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Leave me your comments down below, your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.